Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Yeah, we're in the old Can-Am. This is not my rig. This is Gerald's rig. Uh, this is the old six-seater uh, that we'll be using of his throughout this waterfowl season to come for the guide service. Oh, yeah. But I want to welcome everybody back to another Foul Friday. I wanted to do today's Foul Friday a lot different. And what I mean by that is uh, I didn't just want to sit in the shop. The shop's awesome and all, you know? Yes, oh yes, the old flower chair, she's awesome and all. But I want to mix it up. Uh, I want to get out, I want to do some shooting. I want to do some running and gunning at the farm. And I thought about, hmm, what would it be like if we mixed them both together. Farm hunt and a foul Friday. So it got me thinking. I'm like, that's what we'll do. We'll take the Benelli back to the farm yet again. I got the choke in the Benelli like y'all know. Maybe you don't know, but now you know. But today's foul Friday is all about uh, the one asked question. I've got asked the most, does Bobby, th this is how it goes, Bobby, does your Benelli Super Black Eagle 3 shoot high? Now, I googled it. I googled that question and there's a lot of people that asked that question. Now I'm not so sure that I know the whole story as of why but I don't know anything about them ever shooting high. I'm not gonna act like I do know anything about that issue or if it was an issue, not an issue, but I've been told it has been fixed since. So Again, if you guys have any information, uh, if you guys had an SB3 that may have had a problem, drop a comment down below and let me know because I don't know much about it but I want to uh, for a go shoot with it a bunch uh, at the farm today sling some shells kind of get the idea of you know is it shooting high or not and then at the end we're gonna actually test it we're gonna put her down on a bench shoot a piece of paper and or cardboard and or wood whatever we have <laughs> and see if it does shoot high or if it doesn't first off I want to give a huge shout out to Benelli for sending me the gun. Uh, great people over there supporting the channel, sending a shotgun for me to keep, not just to use. So big shout out to them. I've used the gun twice already and I love it. Y'all know that. So if you guys like this video idea, let me know. Uh, not just patterning it on a board, but actually gonna go shoot live birds with the shot cam on and then go to the board. So I thought it was a good idea. You guys gotta let me know. And, and, if you guys have any video ideas like this one, drop your comments down below. This is how I got this video idea. One of y'all recommended it. So, I don't remember your name, but buddy, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Your guys' video ideas, keep it going, especially the Foul Fridays, because these videos are aimed after the questions and uh, the theories and the ideas and the wonders that we as wing shooters, waterfowl hunters, any type of shotgun shooter, what we what we wonder and what we're curious about sometimes. And what we wanna know most, just like this one. Oh! <laughs> oh, cut. Uh, we're out here on the farm. I asked what y'all wanted to see when I got the old golf cart last week. And y'all were like, dude, you and Jordan, you gotta take it to the farm. Starling right there. There's a bunch of starlings flying. Because it's a beautiful day, I'm in a t-shirt. It's like 74 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous. But the old golf cart, the unit, we got it today. I wish we could have had Fred today. But all my long-term subscribers, y'all seen the last time I brought Fred here, it wasn't a pretty sight. About got trampled by the cows. They thought he was a coyote. Do you think it'll be a big help having the golf cart today? It'll definitely save time. I think uh, we'll be able to get from one side to the other. Earlier I had a GoPro battery die and I had to walk all the way back here, pick it up, walk all the way back. Now, like I'm gonna grab the cart and go get my stuff. I'll be <laughs> back. I think the golf cart's gonna come in clutch. It's quiet, it's electric. We're not gonna disturb much because we won't have a motor going blah, 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 blah. The starlings, if they hear something, they're gone. If they see something, they're gone. So hopefully it'll help. Look like you just came back from Arkansas or something. Iowa. Oh yeah, Iowa. That's where he, that's your last state you hunted in. That is it. He left the tube on. Way gonna... better. Way better than Arkansas. Way better. Arkansas is awful. He left the tube on though. Are you ready to just go crazy on some starlings or? Never killed one before. This is his first farm hunt. Starlings, the whole deal, out at the dairy farm. Yes. Ready for some sky busting. 
Duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? Let's get your daughter's toy to hunting. <laughs> My daughter's toy. This is her toy. You know it. <laughs> it is. When I left the house, the wife, Beth, I can't just say the wife all the time. She don't like that. She's like, say my name. And I'm like, I know, I know. The wife was like, you're taking our, you're taking our baby away. And I'm like, yeah, I gotta go make another video, babe. But here we are, we're on our journey. We're gonna get around the dairy farm. We're gonna find a good traffic way to let everybody off. We're gonna see how many we can kill. Hmm. Try it out, see if anything wants to play. Oh yeah, look at that line of it. Uh, we are venturing around here. I've taken probably three shots. That's what uh, you just watched was me trying to poke something and didn't didn't hit it. But we are journeying around now. The girls got fed not too long ago. Pet. Yep. Look at. Yep. Old girls getting themselves a bite. If y'all are new to the uh, channel and you don't know why we're out here doing this, we're not disturbing these cows. We're protecting the cows. We're keeping the starlings out of their feed. All this feed, the starlings get in it and they poop in it and then they eat the poop. It's not cool. Goodness, it is a lovely day out here on the farm though. Why don't you uh, go ahead and take a dive in there? <clears throat> I bathed last week. <laughs> yep, stop right here and they should go this way. Stay right in the shed. Well, Jordan's going around the other side. He's gonna go knock on that side of the shed. Hopefully they'll come busting out this way. And Gerald and I, gonna be ready. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Nothing. It's getting down to the wire. This is uh, the time that all the birds come back to the farm. And uh, we have moved. There hasn't been much flight. Well, we're spreading out. Everybody's dispersing. It's uh, the witching hour. Uh, the sun's going down. Got about, I would say, 45 minutes left of shooting light here. So. We're all spreading out, all three of us. Spreading out, gonna try to shoot something. Gerald's on the board with one starling. Heck of a shot, I didn't get it on camera. But, y'all have seen this before, the lone tractor out here in between the two ponds, this is gonna be my area right here. That's where I've shot them before, so. The only bad thing about this spot is that a lot of times if I do shoot them, they're coming from the west where I'm looking and they're landing in this pond behind me. So, hopefully we can shoot something. Missed on that one. Oh, they got one on top of the roof. Good shot. I did not do a good job on that one, but they backed me up. Ah, oh, one. Good shot. Well, I'm out of shells. That was it. Shells too, almost. You guys are destroying them over one, here. Do you have anything extra? Out. Oh, thank you. Three. Thanks, one brother. Shell. Oh. You guys are shooting way more than me. See, I was just over there by the tractor. This is where the boys are. They're flying right over these white silage bags. Right over here, right over the top. Coming right at us. Get him. Nice! <laughs> there we go. This is the place to be right here, boys. Just leaning. Oh my gosh, how many you guys got? That's not important. one, two, three, four over here. Oh, got, Plus got, another one. No, take one. <laughs> two, two, four, go. Oh, ah, I'm out. I got one. We, mi we missed them both. Oh, I'm gosh. out. You got one shell left? Uno Moss. Uno Moss. Hey, I found one. I'm going to steal crimped. it. It's what? It's crimped. What do you mean it's crimped? Pull it back out. Look at it. I mean, it's no good. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's got a ring, yeah. Yeah. It's got a it's, ring around that. That's no good. Okay, shot. okay. Right here. It's you. Yeah, it's a poke. <laughs> That's a poke. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Well, that's it. One minute left of shooting light. I'm done, boys.
Oh, well, it is the next day. It got too dark and I couldn't do uh, the actual shooting with the Benelli at the end. The test, uh, I don't think it shoots high. I mean, I love it. I love the new choke in it. I, just by shooting it as little as I have, I don't believe it shoots high. I think it shoots very true. So, like I promised, uh, we're gonna test it. I have a board set up. Uh, we're gonna start at 20 yards, but we're gonna make that quick. I'm not gonna drag it out. We're gonna get right to it and see, you know, what the truth is. Then, we gotta go through you guys' mail. A big box and a bunch of letters. You know how it goes, Foul Fridays. This is what we do. If you guys wanna send your mail, you know the deal. My P.O. box, it is down in the description. The entire address is down there. So if you want to send something, that's where you can find the old Addy. I just ask you to please make it legal, safe, appropriate, and respectable. Well, got her all set up. Here she is. There's our beauty right there. I love this gun. It is truly an amazing gun. Uh, really satisfied with the SB3 from Benelli. Now it's time to see if uh, the one and only most asked question about this gun that I've received, does it shoot high? So this is what we got going on, y'all. We got our board set up here. I got my stand 20 yards away. That's where we're gonna start 20 yards. I am using one ounce Federal eight shot lead out of a full choke with the SB3. So we're starting at 20 yards. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our mark pretty low on the board because we want to see if it shoots high. That's why we're here, right? That's why you guys are here. So what I got down here, like I said, 20 yards total. And to stay tried and true, I got a little stand. I'm going to rest the gun on so it'll be steady. I won't have to rely on standing up and, and holding it. I want to make sure it's right on the money. All right, here we go. Shot number one at 20 yards. See if we can get tried and true here so my gun won't move. There we go. Ready? Let's go check it. I was right on the money. Man, all the anticipation that you build up, you start wobbling a lot. You know what I mean? Let's check it. If anything, I was a hair right of the dot. And that's what it looks like. Check it out. So you got about that much room. I, I'm not going to be all professional here. About that much room. That much room got some stragglers down here got a few stragglers up here but that is dead center i mean honestly like i said a hair right more than left but that right there is very very spot on i think i was aiming maybe like right here so that's for as much as i've heard people say that the sp3 shoots high at 20 yards eight shot lead i'm not seeing it y'all only one thing to do now we're gonna go up a little bit like right there and we're gonna try it at 30 yards 30 yards is where most 12 gauge especially with full chokes where that pattern really starts to open up so let's scoot back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right against the bush all righty shot number two 30 yards here we go see if i can get comfortable way back here owl stickers that's one thing about the house it's got a lot of stickers all right here we are oh came out of my hand a little bit i tried to relax as much as possible i wanted to relax so i'm not moving the gun around by gripping it too tight jumped out of my hand a little bit but let's check it so here it is boy that pattern comes down to here to think of it here to here that is uh pretty tried and true to the last shot now you can tell the difference at 20 yards much thicker pattern than at 30 but i mean yeah one traveled here but i mean it's still pretty thick from here to here still i'm not seeing it Woo! it's cold today is cold this video i'm finishing actually on friday so when you guys are watching it uh, we did this today. Uh, I like cranking out the videos like that. Keeps us sharp, you know what I mean? But, so, my two cents uh, and my findings on the SV3. Number one, I've hunted with it twice. They've both been farm hunts. So you're talking small birds, pretty high, but I've made amazing shots with it. That being said, it'll be really nice getting on the first pigeon hunt with it, which should be really soon. 
Y'all just be waiting for that. I cannot wait to break this bad girl out on a pigeon hunt. That's where I'll be able to put the shot cam on it and we'll get a lot of various distances of good shots on pigeons. So all in all now with the test out back at 30 yards, man, that's where uh, your, your pattern really starts to open up. And 30 to 40, when you start shooting 40 yards, that's becoming a long shot. So my deal is at 30 yards, if it were to shoot high enough to have as many people complaining about it, uh, I would have noticed. So maybe it was on their first models, that's what I've heard, but on their new models, the one that I have, I can tell you right now, there is no issues with this gun whatsoever, y'all. I love it. It feels amazing. But in other news, thank you, Benelli, again, for sending this beauty to use. I'm going to get... I'm gonna use it. So, today, like I said, one, two, three, four letters, a small package, and then a box. Start off with the letters, and this one's unmarked. That's kind of weird. No name, where it's from. Let's hope it has it in the inside. Dear Mr. Bobby Guy, I've been watching your videos since the beginning, and I think you're doing great. I am loving the videos of the new house, lodge, and shop. I think you should put a pool table in the lodge for some entertainment for your clients in between hunts. We're gonna have some entertainment. We're actually gonna have some clay throwers out back and possibly some pheasant hunting available in the evenings. I also think you should do a pheasant or quail hunt with Jordan next season. Stay safe through the thing we're going on. I can't say it because I'll get, yep. God bless Will. Thank you, Will. You didn't say where you were from or anything, but thank you for the nice, genuine letter, Will. I appreciate it. Next up, again, no return address. That's weird. My name is Nick Shaw, 21 years old. You are from Ontario, Canada. I've been watching your videos for probably eight months, and I gotta say you're one of the best waterfowl YouTubers. Dude, I appreciate that. I got into waterfowl hunting about two years ago, but really got into it last year. Last year was what really got me into it. Opening day, my buddies and I were hunting a swamp behind his place, and I shot a banded woody. Dude, I am jealous. A banded woody. But Nick, dude, thank you for the letter. Uh, I, I really appreciate it, man. This, this is pretty personal, so I'm going to finish reading that here in a bit. D. Pelton, what's up, man? This is the next letter on deck. Again, if you guys want to send anything, letters, uh, gifts, anything, just like what might be in these two packages, just make sure it's legal, safe, and respectable. The P.O. box is down in the description. Two Bobby Guy Films from Dolan. What up, Dolan? Hello, my name is Dolan. He's 13 years old from Towanda, Pennsylvania. Love your vids. I've been subscribed for about a year. The first video I watched was Epic Pigeon Hunting, Funnest Hunt. Uh, I love mostly your pigeon hunting vids. My brother just bought his first dozen dive bomb silhouette pigeons. Uh, good purchase, buddy. I love all the inspiration you put into your videos. Thank you and congratulations on Sand Hill Flyway. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Dolan, for the genuine letter. Those are the type of letters I like getting right there. Next one up, Cal Anderson. What up, brother? Nice return address there. Oh, we got pictures. We got pictures of old Cal. Dear Bobby and Fred, I'm 14 from Southern Wisconsin. Fred is one of the coolest dogs I have seen work. Uh, dude, I'll tell you what, Fred, he blew me away this year. I did not think that I would have Fred to the caliber uh, that he was throughout the season. I didn't think that I'd be able to do it, and it uh, just shows. Don't ever doubt yourself too much. But he did send a few uh, pictures. Check them check him out with all them woodies on there. He got some woodies. He's got some, a lot of woodies. Here he's got another pile of ducks. Thank you, Cal. I appreciate it, brother. All right, on to the first package. I think I know what this is. I think this comes from a client. Hello, my name is Triton. What up, Triton? I love your videos. I've been a subscriber since I got my first duck call and I watched your how to build confidence in your calling. That was a good video and a lot of you guys liked that calling tutorial. And then he goes on to say, oh, he made us a couple bracelets and obviously one for Bodie, one for your wife, and one for Harper. I'll be darned, made us bracelets. Oh, I'll be darned, check that out. Little bracelets, little paracord bracelets, boom. Ha, huh, that's neat, dude. The kids will love them, man. Bigger one for mama, and I'm assuming this big one 
That's for me. Thank you, dude. Some paracord bracelets. Check that out. Dude, Triton, I appreciate it. I think you're the one from Colorado. Yep, he's from Colorado. Yep. Thank you, man. I love getting this stuff. I'm glad we decided to do this on Every Foul Friday. If you guys like it, drop a comment down below and let me know if you like these fan mail and unboxings. Oh my, look at this. Oh, that's... Wow, check that out. An old Pentel decoy. That's foam filled and all. Let's, there's a letter with it too. Let's check it out. That's one of the coolest gifts I have got in the mailbox thus far. Let me tell you what. Hi, my name is Finnegan Holmes. I have been subscribed for I think three and a half years. Wow, you've been here since the beginning. I really love watching when you and Jordan do the farm hunts. I'm hoping to hunt with you in 2021-22 waterfowl season. I'm 12 years old and I live in Northern California. Dude. Thanks, man. I have DM'd you on Instagram about coming and hunting with us. We could shoot illusions and Pacific Black Brant. Oh my goodness. It would mean the world to me if you could follow my Instagram, Finnegan underscore Holmes. Hope to see you one day. And he sent this old, awesome, awesome Pintel decoy. How beauty is that? I love old decoys. I love them. If there's anything that I like, I like vintage duck hunting stuff. Old calls, uh, old decoys, just like this one. Hold on. Now, a lot of you that have been here for a while, you remember when I found this. This is a vintage uh, snow goose windsock. Uh, my first trip to Canada uh, three years ago, I found this in a field. And uh, y'all were there for that. So, Dixie Decoy Company. Awesome, awesome find. Wood. Dow, you can tell it's been around a while. Anything vintage, especially if you guys want to send anything vintage, like I said, calls, decoys, signs, posters, pictures, I don't care what it is. Uh, this stuff, like this and like this, this stuff will go in the lodge, you know, I'll put it up on shelves. So this type of stuff is awesome. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little bit of farm hunt, a little bit of shooting out back, testing the old SBE 3 out. If you guys have any video recommendations just like this one, anything that you guys have been wondering, I want to bring back the old shotgun Mythbuster video. So I can't go destroying a shotgun, but if you guys have anything you want me to do, drop it in the comments and let me know. If you guys want to help support the channel and help me bring you guys more channel, that means helping me a little bit financially you know what i'm saying head on over down in the description hit the ducks waterfowl link pick you up a hat pick you up a hoodie get on our ducks t-shirt of the month it's really cheap and affordable that is directly how you can help me plus shout out to my notification squad y'all are amazing if you haven't hit that notification button down there do it the little bell hit it it'll notify you when your boy uploads we're uploading three to four times every week subscribe if you haven't but we'll see you on the next one I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real